Welcome to season four of Women Today, the show created by women for women on issues that are important to us. I'm your host, Liz Toll, and I am joined once again by my good friends, Debbie Shandrick and Lonnie Polite. Can you believe it? Here we go again. I can't believe it. <laughs> it, it just seems like just like season three was over. And here we are again with season four. four. Here right. we are again with go. season four. And you know what? I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Do you realize we have four holidays? Four holidays we get to celebrate right here on Women Today with all of our, our, our viewers. And Halloween, right. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Christmas and New Year's. Yes. Right. Wow, that's wonderful. And we're dressing up for Halloween, right? We will. Dressing up. <laughs> I don't we're dressing know, up. but we will. I think the guys in production should dress up as well. Up. And all, all the crew, and, I think everybody everybody, everybody should, should, should dress up. And, and <laughs> they could actually be in costume. They can come in front of the camera. Right. Nobody will still know what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we have a fantastic season. A fantastic season coming up. We're going to talk about everything from redecorating your home and bathroom to planning for the holidays to childbirth to sexuality after the age of 50. We've got all kinds of great, great shows coming up and new stuff, new stuff this season. Cooking with Kathy. Yes. It's going to be brought to, to our viewers by Fritzinger Town, Senior Wonderful. Living Community and Kathy Kuchi and it's not going to be in the kitchen. It's going to be right here at the table, and she's going to give us all kinds of wonderful, helpful hints. I got a little preview of tonight, and I'm really excited. And I hear I there's food wait. involved again. Uh, that's, what we, that's, that's really why we asked her to be on the show, because we knew we'd be well fed. Now she's a great lady. But we're going to get right into it. Right into it. First show, season four, and it's, it's almost become a tradition. Sure. Our guest. Yeah. When we come back after the break, Kathy Colangelo of Your Life Is Now, Life Coaching. She's going to talk about beginning again, and it's coming up after the break. Stay here. Women Today is produced in cooperation with the Greater Hazelton Health Alliance. Welcome back to Women Today, and it's practically a tradition by now. We are joined by Kathy Colangelo. Your life is now life coaching, and you're going to talk to us about how we can begin again. Since you're beginning a new season, that's a great topic. And thank you so much for having me back. Oh, um, and congratulations on your fourth Fourth. season amazing time flies when you're having fun that's right, right. Yeah. That's so, right. I am so happy to be here um, and you had suggested that we maybe talk about um, making changes and getting started and I thought that would be an excellent topic um, because so many times we are so afraid to to start new things or make a change in our lives uh, we, we go along the kind of with the status quo um, if it isn't broken don't fix it we might not be living our happiest best life uh, but it's okay and we shouldn't we shouldn't live just an okay life we shouldn't live we shouldn't settle we shouldn't settle for anything in our in any area in any area of our lives I mean, sometimes there are things that we can't make changes to right away but there are small things that that we can make changes to it's the starting point yeah. yes it's a starting point and it's funny the other day I was watching um, I, one of my guilty pleasures is way too much TV, but I was watching... Uh, <laughs> well, TV is good. We like TV. <laughs> TV yeah, that's right. TV is great. Reality, like reality TV is, I'm a junkie. But I was watching Robin Roberts on Good Morning America, yes, and yes. it was she was celebrating the first anniversary of when she received her bone marrow transplant. And oh, they yeah. were saying, and she, she's amazing, and she was saying that the, today is her birthday. It's the first day, um, like that was kind of the first day of the rest of her life. Mm. And we can do that at any time at so any you're never too moment. old no you know Kathy sometimes it, you, you read the books and you listen to people like you and you know you know anything is possible and you can do it but mm -hmm. there's a little voice like mm -hmm. here that says ah, maybe it's a little too late for you kiddo maybe it's a little too late for that it's never too it's late never too it's late. never too late and you just have to whatever it is that you want to do or if you want want to change um, you just have to pick a, a one point and, and start somewhere, start small. Just take that first step. I say that all the time. We, we think, oh, I can never have a different job or I can, I'll never, I always wanted to live in Florida, but I can never move to Florida or um, so many different examples of things. Like for, even for myself, like I would say, I, I'll never do retreats at the beach, mm -hmm. but, but I did you it. Are. You take that one step and you do it. it if all the women here today are, are successful businesswomen who at some point um, 
Women Today did not exist, exist right. excuse me, four years ago. Um, it does now. Your business um, did not exist a few years ago. Lonnie, I know you, you know, from many, years, many years, working yes. years with my mom, at, and you, you were doing bookkeeping, and you didn't have your, your own business. Um, Kathy, who's going to be up, up later, I mean, she, she has developed her business. Um, it was a family business, but she has really made developed that own. business yep. and made it her own. And it all started with a with a baby step of doing something. It's just something you have to just mm -hmm. do, but it's so right. hard to make that first step. Yeah. Yes. And so, um, Debbie and I were we yeah. were talking a little bit earlier about taking that taking that first step and and against like you'll always have people in your life that say, oh no. You, you sh you're fine the way you are. Why do you want to do that? Or why do you want to get a new job? Or why do you want to start your own business? You're yeah, crazy. I had, an abs I had a wonderful job working for Dr. Milstein and Dr. Schleicher and loved my job, loved it, but I just thought that I wanted to do more aesthetics. Mm -hmm. I went to school. My husband was so against it. I told him I wanted to open my own business. He was crazed. Yeah. He, no, why are you doing that? You have He's a great be job. The show, you know that, don't I you? know, I know. Sorry I'm going to hear about it later. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, oh my God, it was the best thing that I did. Mm -hmm. Even though it was three steps forward, five steps back. Scary. It yeah. was. Scary. The it's whole scary. step of the way, but I'm... Mm -hmm. I'm but look at you well, now. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It turned out right. well. So, and yeah. you're proud of yourself. You're an example to other women. And you know what? I am. I'm mm -hmm. I, Because I did it myself. Right. Working with contractors, mm -hmm. going to the bank. Uh, my husband just stepped back. Yeah. You want that? Mm -hmm. You're going to work for it. And right. I did. And then he was so proud mm -hmm. of me. And, and it makes no, you and stronger. He, it it does. Mm -hmm. It does make you stronger. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a wonderful feeling when you, when you do that. It yeah. is. Because we all have that. We all have it in us. It's within us. And we can make a, a small change, uh, even if it's, um, you know, starting something new, starting an exercise program, or learning, learning to, to cook. Um, start, start with something small. Don't look at uh, don't look at yesterday and say, oh, I, or, or your past and say, well, in the past I started and stopped and I quit and mm -hmm. I, I didn't do it and move forward. Look at today as that first day, um, like that's your kind of your new birthday. Um, there was a, a book, that Og, Og Mandino, I think it is, and there was a, a line in there that he said, start every day that said, today is the first day of my life. Today is the first day of, of my life. So don't look back at what maybe didn't go so well yesterday. Look at your successes of what you did today. Um, maybe, you know, don't say, I'm going to stop eating all chocolate um, from now on. Or, yeah, I, who would, yeah, who would, who would be crazy that? enough yeah. to do that? Um, you know, maybe then t today, instead of cutting yourself off from something, start something new and mm -hmm. incorporate those small changes into your life. Like, don't go full steam ahead and overhaul your whole entire life right. with anything. You know, you have to take those baby steps, like, you know, for, for your businesses or for all, like everything started with an idea. And then you took that, you know, a baby step. You didn't start, you didn't hire 15 employees before you had a building. You know, you, you started with those, with those baby those steps. steps. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, do you think too sometimes, Kathy, sometimes these things seem like they are so overwhelming. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just once you start that momentum, I can remember when I went through my divorce years and mm -hmm. years ago when my boys were in diapers, I thought, how am I going to do mm -hmm. this? How am I going to go back to work? How am I going to manage the bills and the house? And what am I going to do with the kids? And, out? and it, it, it's overwhelming. Right. And what I found really helped then is I just wrote it all down. Mm -hmm. I just wrote it all down, all the things I needed to do, all the things, and then just one by one, I just tackled them. That's right. And, and that's, that's, that has to do a lot with your vision boards that you do, mm -hmm. doesn't exactly. it? Exactly, yeah. Um, and then you can, so you start with, maybe you start with that vision of what it is you want, and then that helps to motivate you. Or you could just start with one thing. I, um, cheating a little bit from a, a girl that I met through a, an online um, class that I had taken and she started at the beginning of the year and she said you know she she would feel so overwhelmed by some things and she said she so she challenged herself she wanted to read more so she said I'm just gonna read five pages every day of of this book or and a that's book you could do. and that's something it's doable that so cool. she read mm -hmm. five pages and by the end of the year um, she had read uh, I, I didn't jot down how many books she read but she read like a crazy number of books that she yeah. would be intimidating if you just say okay I'm gonna read 
15 you know, books. 15 mm -hmm. books. And, and the think, same is like with exercise, mm -hmm. too. If you say, okay, I'm going to run a marathon, you're not going to run a marathon. Right. But if you say, this, you know, tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to run around the block. And then I'm, right. that's how I started running. Mm -hmm. I just went, ran around the block. And then I said, okay, I'm going to run down the road. And I'm going to mm -hmm. go through the park. And then I'm going to get around the lake. And it's just like a little further, a little further, a little further. Right. And that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. But just small things like that. Like this, she said she did um, 10 push-ups. You know, I'll just do 10 push-ups. I'll just do five push-ups. Uh, she wanted, if you want to write, um, Kathy and I were talking about writing things earlier, you know, write, write one page in your journal every day and you'll have, have a journal filled up, anything like that. Now, now Kathy, with all, these, with all these great pieces of advice you're giving us, you have your own business and, I do. and this was your dream and you've got a retreat coming up, a fabulous retreat. I think it's booked for this year. It's booked it for is, this year. Yes, I'm third going. annual. I am so Liz excited. I can't year. believe I'm going. I can't believe I'm going. Tell us real quick, though, about your website and how people can get in contact with you because I know you offer a free session for people to get started. So yes. a free is good. We always say free is mm -hmm. good. But you have a blueprint. Tell our viewers about it. I do. Um, my website, I have some blogs on there, and you can sign up for a newsletter and just kind of some positive um, just uh, feedback. Your before the show. Uh, my I website is, mm -hmm. oh, great. Website? It's uh, www.yourlifeisnowcoaching.com. Um, I have a Facebook page, Your Life Is Now. Uh, and I have some, um, I definitely have a complimentary coaching session. If someone is interested, if you're, if you're seeing us right now and you're thinking, you know, you're feeling overwhelmed, thinking, oh, yeah, that might have worked for them, but it's not going to work for me. Um, get, call me. We'll schedule some time, you know, to work together to, to just kind of ha have a little chat, talk about where you're at, um, what you're thinking, and I can help you to kind of chunk that down, break it down into small baby steps where you can move forward, feel positive about your, those forward actions. And it's going to be a year from now no matter what. You may as well make it so count. You might as well make right. it count. Kathy, thank you so much for starting off our season again. Thank you. Our viewers will look forward to seeing you at the beginning of season what five. Okay. I'm looking I'm looking forward to seeing you at the beach. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck with season four. Thank, thank you. you. As Kathy Colangelo from Your Life is Now. Next up, it's our new segment. It is Cooking with Kathy. Kathy Kuchi is in the house, and it's next after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back to Women Today, and it's our brand new segment, Cooking with Kathy. It is brought to you by Fritzinger Senior Living Community. We are so grateful to them for sponsoring this segment, and you are going to be here every week. And I'm so excited. Thank so you so yeah. much. Thank we you. do not expect you to feed us every week. Well, I would love to feed every you other every week. week. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I, I'm so happy to be here. I wish I could this. smell this. So this is amazing. Thank you so much. And because this is New Beginnings, I thought that I would talk about the way that I begin my meal, an Italian meal with olive oil. Uh, I make dipping olive oil. Love it. And so I made some dips here today for us to try, but I wanted to talk about the different kind of olive oil that um, is out on the market. The darker olive oil is a cold press olive oil. It comes from Greek, uh, Greece and Italy, and it has more of a fruity aroma and flavor. The lighter olive oil uh, comes from France. Also, California has light olive oil, and that is cold pressed as well, but it has more of a light flavor to it. Uh, the darker olive oil is not good for cooking. It's good for drizzling on salads and, and uh, making dips. The lighter olive oil you can cook with, and I always like to cook with olive oil. In fact, you can replace butter in your recipes with olive oil because it is a good fat. It doesn't have saturated fat in it, and it is heart healthy and even reduces cholesterol. And it tastes good. That's great. So what I wanted to talk about was uh, making a uh, olive oil dip that you can begin your meal with. So what I did was I took some of the dark olive oil, and to make it easy on uh, people, you can go out and, and get some uh, tomato pesto. I, I happen to make this by taking uh, sun-dried tomatoes and whizzing that in a food processor with some garlic and some pine nuts. And then what I did is I mixed that with some uh, basil, some dried basil, some dried oregano, and some garlic. And I just mixed that together and Yum. I put that on our plate. And then what you can do is add some um, 
Romano cheese and then just dip your bread. I, I just love to do that. I also uh, can suggest uh, some green pesto, some basil mm -hmm. that you can use uh, to make that. Uh, and you can use this uh, right away. You can keep it for three days, but I wouldn't suggest keeping it any longer because uh, when you put fresh herbs in an anaerobic environment, which is an environment that doesn't have air in it, it can cause botulism. So you don't want to keep wow. this very long. Wow. So you use it, and within three days, if you're not using it, you toss it. Kathy, do you store it? You don't store it refrigerated. Oh, you do. It has you do to be store it refrigerated. refrigerated. Oh, yes. yes. So it won't, it won't coagulate. It won't. It won't get firm. It'll stay in well, the liquid it, state. Well, it may, but you can just take it out, and it'll be. You know, once you it bring leave it to room temperature, temperature then. it's fine. Not that yeah. I think if, if this was in my house, it, it would, would last, last long enough long. to have any leftovers. Is it just because no. the herbs are in there. Uh, well, the olive oil doesn't need to be stored in the refrigerator. No, no. Well. But because you have herbs in there and that uh, anaerobic environment, you want to make sure that it's in the refrigerator and and it's. Uh, it's, uh, when you make it to, um, you want to put it in something that's been sterilized and cleaned. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put it in anything that, um, you know, it's almost like a canning procedure mm. because you want to make sure everything is pristine. So it's probably, it's probably, it's probably a good mm. thing to make fresh and eat oh, fresh. Absolutely. It smells heavenly. It's, it's, and, and, and we're gonna, we're gonna go to break in a second here, and we're gonna, we're gonna have a little snack here <laughs> on the set of women today. <laughs> Kathy, thank you so much for being on with us. I'm looking forward to seeing you every week for some great tips and advice to our viewers. And we were saying earlier, we have four holidays we're encompassing this season, so I'm sure you're gonna help us with our holiday planning and, and entertaining as well. I'm so excited. Thank you so much we're for so letting me be a part of this. We're so glad to have you, okay. Kathy. Thank you very much. You're watching Women Today, and after the break, Chris Dorenzo. He's in the house, not for long. He's going to explain. It's coming up. Stay here. Welcome back to Women Today, and we are going to get creative with Chris one last time. Brought to you by Kathleen's Collectibles and Drums, and Chris. Do you want to tell our viewers what's going on here? Because we promised them at the end I of know, last season. I know. Lots of great creative tips, but good news, bad news. I'm going to let you break the news to it, our viewers. It, um, since the last show aired, I actually was offered a job with the Walt Disney Company. So I actually will be leaving and moving to Florida. We're proud of you. Oh, new beginnings. Oh, yes. It's a new beginning. Yes. Uh, my studio is still functioning here with all of my, my staff and and that, but I actually, an opportunity, new beginning, mm -hmm. and I couldn't say no, so. Well, we're gonna miss you, we're gonna miss you, and we, we tried to talk about the stay in, Thank couldn't you. do it, us, Disney, I wouldn't have thought it would have been a hard I choice. I still think to bring the show down there for a grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll talk to my boss about the budget uh, for that, going go, down to Disney. Yeah. But starting next week, we are gonna have an exciting new segment. We are going to have Pause with Virginia Jane. And, and Dr. Kathy Benio is actually going to come on with Virginia Dame, and we're going to give all of our viewers some excellent tips for their pets. That'll be fun. So it'll be fun. We couldn't replace you with a human being, I so we had to replace you. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Chris, one last creative tip. Two, actually. Two. We're going to do two. two. Uh, the, the first one, actually, we'll do for Halloween. Okay. Um, okay. And, and everyone has toilet paper rolls <laughs> around here <laughs> so yeah that. so so basically what, what you do is you're you're going to take it and it kind of looks like a mustache actually it does. um but these are actually eyes so you're going to cut them out and then once you cut them out um you're going to actually take the tape the one side and then take a glow stick and shove it in here and then at nighttime put them all over your yard put them in trees and stuff and they look like glowing eyes. Crazy. You'll see on, on some of the pictures. That is crazy. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun for kids and, and I, I, I mean, I do it all the time. So, <laughs> so we'll, we'll just shove those down here. Um, and then the, the last thing, um, since I'm going to have actually a new home, um, the wreaths. Wreaths are, they welcome you into, mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. someone's home. But everyone thinks the wreath has to be circular. Mm -hmm. um, this one's a good example. I just threw this one together. Um, it, it's actually um, a cross. Oh, watch you don't get impaled. Um, but Basically, when, when you're building, you want to build from the bottom up. So you get rather grapevine or whatever, whatever you'd like. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take, take apart all your flowers and stuff and then start with your greens, fill in with all of your larger flowers, and then you're going to fill in with more leaves and stuff. And really, for I think 20 bucks it cost, you have something that, that looks Very really, nice. really great. And Absolutely beautiful. Is that is that my going away present for uh, you? Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta get it. Chris, we are going to miss you. I'm going to miss you guys. You, you have to oh, promise yeah. us when you come home and visit, 
You got to come on. You got to come on and visit us. I will. Thank you for everything. No problem. And next week, we'll be seeing Kathleen Benio and Virginia Thank Jane, you. and that's going to be a lot of fun, too. We wish you well in your travels. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Luck, you want to stay right here with us because after the break, Ms. Shandrick, it's going to start right here, the giveaways for season four. And we're going to tell you about a brand new segment. It's the Businesswoman of the Week, and it's brought to you by Robert Stevens Face and Body, and it's all coming up. Stay here. Women Today. We're back after the break. AM19 delivers Wi-Fi traffic for the busy woman today. Call Angela for all your dry cleaning needs. Free pickup and delivery, competitive pricing, fast, friendly service. Why struggle? AM19 delivers is the official dry cleaning service of Women Today. Welcome back to Women Today. And it's one of Debbie's favorite parts of, of the show. And it's time to give things away. But speaking of giving away, all of our guests this season are going to get a dozen beautiful tie-dyed roses from Smilax Floral and Hazelton. Yeah, yeah. These flowers are all the rage. Everybody wants them. Our guests are getting a dozen mm -hmm. each week from Bart at what Smilax. So if yeah. you see them and wow. you like them, head down to Bart. Thank you for that, for taking care of our wonderful guests. Our first giveaway wow. of the season, Miss Shandrick. What a wonderful, amazing. Unique, it's called a corksicle. A corksicle. And it is from the Beehive Gift Shop, Main Street in Wilkes-Barre. Stunning. And what you do is you Trisha. freeze this. So you have perfectly chilled wine all the time. And it's not watered down. Yes, it's right. wonderful. What I a love great it. idea. And, 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 and what if people did, purse, you did know? No, no, you <laughs> can't start that this season. And, and do you remember what people have to do to win it? Yes, what do they have they to do? they have to email us, call us, like us on Facebook. Yep, and, and this could be yours. It's our first giveaway of the season. And now, Lonnie, this season we have a new acknowledgement that we're doing, and it's the Businesswoman of the Week. Right, and you nominate somebody that you feel a, a businesswoman that's very well deserving and send it in and possibly she'll be the choice and yep. she'll be our winner. Yep, email me, email me at, uh, at, the, at the email address on your screen and then you yeah. can be possibly winning this for yourself or someone else. And this is what our lovely ladies, Andrea and Mary Celeste that from Felons have given us as a gift. It, this, this is from Felons. They're our wonderful sponsor along with Robert Stevens Face and Body this, yeah. this month. And this is, I believe it is hand blown glass and each one is unique, as unique as the ladies that we are going to be um, celebrating. And I love it because it's functional for the businesswoman and oh yet gosh, it's still yeah. elegant. And it's beautiful. And I, I just, I love it. I love it. I would love to get one of these. So if any of the, the men in my life even though they're all under the age of 21. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is what mom wants for Christmas. Okay, so the, what you have to do is you have to send us an email and let us know about all of these amazing women that are in your life, business women we want to celebrate. And we wanted to hear about women that have got wonderful success stories. And so, and so next week, we'll be having a, a, a wonderful, beautiful woman to celebrate. We're also going to be hearing from Nancy Pilla from Nancy's Fresh Cut Meat Market, and she's going to tell you how to find your way around the butcher's market. And that's that's a tough thing to do, yes. you know, as far as understanding cuts of meat mm -hmm. and how much do you need, depending on how many people that you're serving. So so next week we're going to find out I'm where looking, it's going to be. I'm looking forward to hearing that. Too. Yep, I really, yep. really and am. And that's, that's going to be wonderful. So brand new season, season four, lots of new exciting things. Saying I'm goodbye excited. to an old was, friend, but yeah. we've got we've got some exciting things. And 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 Dr. Kathy Benio and Virginia Jane. That's going to be a they're going to be joining segment. us, and they're going to give us some great tips for you and your pets. We've got four holidays coming up, and it's going to be a party. So you want to stay right here on Women's Day. It's all new. It's season four, and as always, it's all about you. Thank you for joining us this week, and we'll see you next time.